having to deal with. Now, the controversial uh, two-gender rule might see the light of the day in the next few months after several attempts to pass the bill failed in Parliament. This is because President William Ruto, while addressing women earlier today, assured the women that the male counterparts in Parliament are now on board to pass the two-gender rule. He also announced in increases in various women funds. And as our reporter Beldin Waleola reports, women have been challenged to step up and vie for top political seats. Kenya marked International Women's Day on Thursday, earlier than the selected day of 8th March. While attending celebrations to mark this day, President William Ruto said the third agenda rule must be passed this time round. Past efforts to do so had hit a brick wall. Nimeongea na wabunge wengi na hata wabunge wanaume wamekubali ya kwamba safari hii tutapitisha hii mswada kule bunge. I am confident that parliament will reciprocate uh, the pass and pass the legislation on not more than two-third gender rule. The president also promised to uplift women by increasing the allocation of funds to the Enterprise Fund and Affirmative Action Fund. He also pledged to build more than 400 markets to enable women to carry on with their businesses without interferences. Ile Affirmative Action Fund ya Kinamama iongezwe na mimi nikakubali kutoka shilingi bilioni mbili nimesema hiyo fund iwe sasa shilingi bilioni tatu kila mwaka with international women day theme of being innovation and technology for gender equality council of governors chairperson anwe guru has called on more inclusion of women in technology driven projects and an end to cyberbullying that often targets women. Gender inequality, particularly innovation, continues to persist. The exorbitant internet costs and the wage gap in this field that is still largely male-dominated are some of the challenges still impeding women from fully participating and benefiting in technology, which needs to be addressed by both levels of government. Further action is required to tackle the problem of online violence, which 38% of women in 31 countries said they had personally experienced. Rigadi Gashagwa called on women not to be afraid of taking up leadership roles. Our mama tunauliza nyinyi mupiganie nafasi yenu kwa serikali. Muzikae nyumbani mungoje muletewe viti. Beldeno, waliaula ketia news. A row of 